island of Curacao is located in the Southern Caribbean, approximately 40 miles north of Venezuela. Along with Aruba, St. Martin, and the municipality of Bonaire, it's known as the Dutch Caribbean. Curacao is famous for its colorful buildings and beautiful beaches nestled into tranquil coves. And for visitors, there is plenty to do on the island. Number 1. Due to the marine-rich waters surrounding the islands, snorkeling is a popular activity. Number 2. Additional water sports in the region include aquafari tours, as well as boat and jet ski excursions. Number 3. For water sports that involve a little more physical activity, kayaking through the mangroves is a trendy choice. Number 4. Adventure sports on land include ATV adventures and jeep safaris. Number 5. For something truly unique, opt for a visit to a local ostrich farm. But let's face it, excursions can get expensive if you're doing a lot of them. So here are five more things to do on the island of Curacao that are every bit as interesting, but completely free. Number six, visit the capital city of Willemstad. A leisurely stroll around Curacao's capital city of Willemstad is delightful. Visitors will find numerous shopping and dining opportunities with boutique stores and waterside cafes. The city is a rainbow of color and buildings feature awnings and decorative window shutters. Snapping photos here will certainly keep you busy. When you're ready to view Willemstad from a different angle, try walking across the Queen Emma pontoon bridge toward the district of Punda. Floating on a series of pontoons, the bridge drifts and sways, making the trek a little more interesting and fun. Number 7. Experience the Floating Market Curacao's famous floating market can be found in the capital city of Willemstad, where vendors from the coastal regions of Venezuela bring fruit and vegetables, fish and seafood, as well as crafts, and set up shop on their boats. Even if you don't purchase anything, it's a unique place to visit. The colorful boats against the backdrop of vibrant buildings create a charming tourist attraction despite that the market is mostly used by locals. However, if you're in the mood for a juicy piece of fruit, this is the place to get it. Number 8. Visit Daiboy Beach Despite that Curacao is known for more than 35 spectacular beaches, some are privately owned. Fortunately, Daiboy Beach is not only one of the prettiest beaches in the region, it is also public and free of charge to visit. The waters here are perfect for swimming or snorkeling, and are so turquoise and clear they almost look photoshopped. The powdery white sand is excellent for sunbathing, and the area surrounding the bay is simply stunning. Thatched cabanas on the beach provide shade for those in need, and there is a facility for food and drinks as well as washrooms. Number 9. Spend time with the flamingos. You don't need to be an avid bird watcher to enjoy the sight of graceful pink flamingos. And seeing them in the wild is so much better than seeing them in a zoo or park environment. In Curacao, indigenous flamingos congregate in the lagoon at St. Villebroidus, and visiting is free. The bright birds can be seen from the roadway. Or, for those wishing to get a closer look and some photos, there is a convenient viewing deck available. Number 10. Savor the views of Santa Martha Bay. Near the village of Soto, visitors can enjoy the tranquility of Santa Martha Bay. For travelers wishing to get a good look at this portion of the island, the lookout point located here comes highly recommended. Islands, inlets, and rolling hills are lush with greenery and surrounded by turquoise water. For more things to do and places to stay in Curacao, visit our website at goglobehopper.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more travel videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can become a Globehopper.